Hello, this is Klopal Three Tutorials, tutorial 028, and this one goes over terminal usage. Now, first of all, you're going to need to have your uh, path variable set up so you can run something in the terminal, like with PHP. And this is just a random number generator that goes from 0 to F. And um, so if I go here and I click on environmental variables, and I go down to my path variable here, I go to edit. At the end of it, I have semicolon and then I have the directory which, well, the path that I have the PHP executable in. Now, this is only if you have WAMP installed, so it and it works fine. Now, that's uh, all I have for that. So, I'm going to exit out of this and I have another terminal open here. So, I'm going to go back and go to my C drive and change to WAMP and I'm going to go to my www folder and uh, let's see here I save this and I'm going to go and uh, go to where I have uh, the uh, today's tutorial at and I'm going to do PHP and then I'm going to try the PHP file, which is tut028.php, as you can see right there. And nothing happens at all because I'm not echoing anything. So if I went and echoed out um, tacos eat lunch for dinner, and I save that, I come back to the terminal and do the same thing again. Tacos eat lunch for dinner. Now, what's going on here is that it's executing this, and instead of like sending it to a browser, for example, it's sending it to this terminal or command prompt. So, but one of the things that do not work so well in the command prompt are uh, for loops for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, but while loops work perfectly fine, that's what I'm using in that other. Um, thing that was just generating random numbers. So, um, well, what if I'm trying to get user input? Well, I have um, Chrome here with the page about um, using PHP from the command line, and I'm going to copy this and put it inside the comments on here. And I'm going to go ahead and say, um, for more info, go to and I put that in and save it. Of course, nothing will happen right now because I have this uh, undone. But uh, if I go ahead, um, has all this kind of stuff here. So, um, so you can have um, all sorts of stuff. And then here's, um, I guess this means standard input, I think, and this means standard out and standard error or whatever. But um, this is kind of how you get um, get stuff from the user. So I'm going to say, but say um, std out. You really do not need to use it because you can just use echo. Um, and that's pretty much um, all the stuff you really need to know to use this. So. I'm going to go here to PHP and I'm going to say, I'm going to paste in this line equals this thing. So I'm going to say first, I'll go, what is your name? Your name, blessed blank. Um, and I'm going to put a space there and save and say, echo, um, hello. And I'm going to change this to name here. And I'm going to say, Hello, name. How are you this day? And I'm going to say the next thing is um, How am I? And I'm going to say um, I'm going to put a backslash n here and change this to an h. Um, well, actually, no need to since I have this here. Um, so I'm going to say echo, well, that is just dandy. 
You are dollar sign. How am I? And period. And save that. Now I'm gonna come here and try it again. What's your name? Blessed blank. I'm gonna say um clop lap three two one. And hello clop three two one. How are you this day? Like a hot dog. That's just Danny. You are like a hot dog. And of course, you can see that I put two dots here because I have a dot here. And in this variable here, I have another dot which I put at the end. So, you can make a pretty simple, straightforward game using this. So, uh, let's see here. I could probably open up a previous tutorial. And uh, remember that the game tutorial that was on 25? Well, I'm going to try that out. And, um,. No, not that one. It's the story one. So let's try and find the story. Um, I'm just going to take a quick look at my site for which one that is. And uh, let's see here. Let's see, use previous functions to make up a story. So that looks like it's tutorial 20. And let's try going here. Okay, so I'm going to go here and copy this into here, and I'm going to go ahead and comment this section out, and just to make it colorful, I'm going to put two of these, and I'm going to go ahead and paste this in, and take this thing here at the end out. Um. Hello, and I'm going to actually not take that out. I'm going to keep that as it is, but I'm going to take this out at this point, and I'm going to go on ahead and see if this works here as it is. And I'm going to say that uh, go, and I'm going to put in the name here, and I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to go back here and echo this again so we're not breaking up things and I'm going to go back here and do the same thing with this but since we're not using HTML we could just cut out those um, things there and I'm going to go on and say uh, backslash n because of that br and I'm going to Stop that there. Um, I'm pretty much just uh, going on and um, making this formatted for the terminal here. And uh, so I'm trying to go as quickly as possible. And uh, since I broke it up last time between the HTML and PHP by embedding it, um, I'm going to say that and put this here and the same thing here and I'm going to echo this and put that in and save. So I'm going to go and try this again. I'm going to say clap lap three two one. Hello clap lap three two one. It was a dark and stormy Sunday night. You are with twelve other people and now you decide to go. Um, to mow the grand lawn of the ages. Um, one of your best friends, James, wants to join you in your wonderful adventure. Now you must decide whether to let him or not. So, um, I'm going to say that this yes or no, I'm going to actually make it an input. So, I'm going to say, um, echo backslash n for the new line. Say y for yes and n for no and um, I'm going to go ahead and not that um, I'm going to copy this here and let's see here. I'm going to put this here and I'm going to say y or n or just that and I'm also going to make this str to upper 
and I'm going to close it right there. So now I'm going to do this if statement saying if um, this equals y, then um, I'm going to say yes or no equals one, and uh, so. Um, I'm going to say that it also equals zero by default, so I don't have to care about the otherwise n. And I'm going to say save, and I'm going to try this again. What's your name? Blessed blank. Plop, lop, three, two, one.